It's a major health problem among older Australians, with the rate of serious injuries from falls increasing each year. Researchers say they're closer to developing a way of predicting falls and those at risk. At 94, Helen Hogan has a valid excuse for being less mobile. She's already suffered a broken hip and received two knee replacements. I do have fairly bad osteoporosis and um, that interferes with your walking. Falls really are a major healthcare problem for older people. Researchers are using these small sensors called accelerometers. When placed on the head and waist, they produce valuable information. People who are very variable or not smooth in their walking pattern are really at increased risk of falling. Here a person with Parkinson's disease who's at greater risk of falling is assessed. The green lines represent his head movements while the blue shows what happens with his pelvis. The difference between a healthy volunteer on the left is compelling compared to a volunteer with Parkinson's. Researchers are using this information and other risk factors to help predict falls. In the next two years you're going to see a lot of new tools like this coming on the market. The rate of injuries from falls have jumped by more than 20% in the past decade. The problem will only get worse as the population ages. Correcting poor vision, wearing better shoes and proper balance training can all help. Well, I will admit that I am slowing up and I don't know where I'd be without my family though. They're wonderful. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.